Good morning everybody. It is now Monday the 21st of February. It's my mum's birthday. She's 78 today. So after work I'll be picking Jen up and we'll be going to take her a present down and give her that. I am set up to start work. I'm going to work today. I thought I was going to get my laptop today but apparently it's tomorrow. But I'm a bit confused so I don't know anymore. Um, we'll find out. Anyway, so I'm just setting this up. I'm get the emails... Um, sorry, I'm just getting the weekly vlog ready to edit. It's on there, I'm charging up my mouse because I stupidly left it switched on so all the charge is drained. So I've got it plugged into my laptop. My laptop itself is going to be plugging in soon, but that's around somewhere. I did not read anything last night. I think I read about three or four pages of Dracula and I just didn't feel like it, so I gave up. Sometimes that's how you feel. So yeah, I'll probably read it tonight. I'm going to... Uh, crack on with some work, watch some booktube videos, um, put them on in the background basically and see what's going on. I will see you a bit later and hopefully we'll do a better vlog this week. Here she is, the most gorgeous girl in the world. Jennifer's got a nice new Avengers t-shirt on, marble, and she's eating an ice cream. You've been a good girl, haven't you? You've got chocolate, it's just chocolate around your chops, don't worry. And oi! Cat, it's not for you. Not for you. Keep it away from her, Jen. Come on. Cheeky, she. Okay. What are you doing? I'm filming you because you're gorgeous. <laughs> okay, everybody. It's the evening. I am absolutely shattered. <sighs> I've just watched the last episode of Call Me With Wife, which was really good. Very much enjoyed that. Roll on Christmas special. I have a new Marilyn t-shirt arrived today. I should probably TikTok it later. Let's see if I can get you to see it. Hang on. There we are. Very nice Marilyn t shirt. And speaking of TikTok, I've got a right nutter on there at the moment who says that uh, Marilyn potentially didn't die, which is fine. Um, and that she definitely had children. And while she was having her children, so she could give birth to them, her cousin Ida May played Marilyn so she could go and give birth to them. This is a new one on me and I, you know, I've been a fan for over 30 years. Um, well, I'm getting on for 40. The, you know, it's just, I've never heard this one before. I've heard the Maybe She's Alive thing. I've heard the children one before, but never that Ida May pretended to be Marilyn. Um, yeah, it's a new one on me, I'll tell you. Anyway, I am going to... Yeah, curl up and watch, and I might watch them on my phone, I might watch TikTok. I'm not in a TikTok-y mood. I'm in a film photography mood, but... Mm, I don't know, what's... what there? Hmm, well... They've got chicken pox down at the nursery, they've had a case. Jennifer's alright, as far as I can tell she hasn't got it. She has got a couple of spots on her face, but then... That's it, she's not got temperature, she's not scratching, there's nothing. I don't think it's, she's got that. I mean, she's had spots before come out and they've disappeared. I mean, I've got a spot there. Oh, my face looks awful. Anyway, so because you've got really close up, my face isn't that bad. Anyway, I am, like I said, I'm going to uh, read a bit of Dracula, write my diary, maybe watch a bit of TikTok. I've also messaged my friend Michelle about this nutter on TikTok because we always have a good laugh at them. I mean, you know. If you can provide me the evidence, show me the evidence. I'll look into it. I'd be happy to look into it. I did test her and say, who is Ida May? Of course, I knew who Ida May was, obviously, that it was a cousin. But uh, just because I thought they were making, you know, making some of this up. Everybody, you know, it's a new one on me. <laughs> anyway, I'll talk to you later. Good morning. It is Tuesday, 22nd of February. Looks like the Ukraine situation's worsening. Um, I'm about to start work because I'm waiting all the time to pick up my new laptop. Hopefully it'll be sometime today. If not, it's not. I don't care anymore. Um, Zed's behind me if you can hear funny noises. He's on the bed. Probably trying to kill my other laptop. And I've got 15 minutes before I start work. So I'm going to get everything set up and get going. Jennifer's at nursery. Paul will be picking her up today because I finish at 1 and she finishes at exactly the same time. So he'll go and get her and bring her back so yeah 
it's good i've nearly finished dracula i've got about 50 pages left so i plan on finishing that today and then getting on to the net galley arc that i've got and finishing that off because i'm enjoying the story i don't know why i just haven't finished it probably because i gotta write a review when i've done it but that's fine i will do so it's just me being lazy but i will crack on with that one that's the next one on my list and then after that one i've got one on my phone i'm reading i gave up on a series and i'm reading eye of time it's called that guy has to go back in time to save his wife from being murdered in order to avoid the European fault, which didn't actually happen because we still left the Union. So we'll have to see what happens in that one. It'd be interesting. Of course, it could be an alternative reality in which we stay in it. We'll have to find out. That's really good. So that's, I'm quite enjoying that. Uh, and then I'm going to be starting the Dynasty series. Uh, it's called Dusky Rose, is it? It's the Tudor period one. I read the first page. It looks quite good. I'm going to have a look at that, see if I can get into it. And I've still got Marilyn to read the bombshell book. So my plans are to try and finish those three, the, the, those four or five books before the end of the month. I've still got to do the spread for when Marilyn met the Queen. I haven't done that yet. So that's me being lazy. I might do that tonight. It'll be something nice to do. Anyway, I better crack on. And uh, yeah, I'll uh, see you after. Hi hey everyone, it's... It's Tuesday night. I didn't have to get my laptop in the end because I had a technical issue. So I haven't been able to do it. Um, I'm waiting for Microsoft to do some work. So they'll reschedule that for a few days. That's fine. Jennifer's okay. She's asleep. She didn't want to go to bed, but she's fine now. She's asleep. I had a bit of a coughing fit. It brought on an asthma attack. And it swiped me out. So it's literally only just gone 8 o'clock and I'm in bed. And I'm going to just read for a bit and um, see what happens. So I have now finished Dracula. Hooray! Uh, enjoyed that. There's a ton of books by the side of my bed I've got to put away. I've brought out for Marilyn things for TikTok for various reasons. Um, so uh, I need to check this because I think it needs charging. But I'll have a look and I'm going to have a quick check and see what I think of this book by Cynthia Harrod Eagles, The Dark Rose. Apparently she died before she completed her series. She did get up to World War II, I believe. I'm not sure. But yeah, I'm gonna have a look at this. Um, I read the first bit, it sounded all right, so we'll see. And then I'll, I'll let you know what I think, but I'm probably not gonna read for long, so I'm, I feel absolutely knackered. I wanted to try and put some um, of the uh, PDFs away because I'm trying to get to the one I actually want to colour in which is the, the pinup girls which I really like so I, I might try and do that unfortunately my lamp's all over the place because the cat keeps knocking it over Ugh. well the actual bulb's not in it anymore I have to put the bulb back in I'm trying to stand it up and it's not gonna there it is it's alright now um that is Wildwood which is which I haven't coloured in yet that one is oh that's a new one that I've bought this month I've only got three, I've got five new books, six new books this month, so not many. They're ones I've coloured in, that's the one I'm putting them in, because you can see. I have got a huge stack of ugh, PDFs to go away, so I'm going to do one of those now. Try and get down a bit closer, read a bit, take my meds and I'm try and get a good night's sleep tonight. I'm not staying up late, I'm too tired. Yeah. I Still wheeze, it's still a bit out of breath <sighs> from that. But uh, I was at least I finished Dracula. I, felt, I finished that before I had the um, coffin fit, so that's something. Anyway, I'll see you tomorrow. It's Wednesday. We're going to mum and dad's tomorrow, Jen. I've still got I've got two items to pack, and I've got a few off offers to send. So I'll do that tomorrow as well. I'll get me sent off Thursday. Anyway, I'll see you later. Good morning. It is Wednesday, the twenty third of January. I still haven't posted my two items. I'm going to get them ready this afternoon when I get back from work. Assuming I can stay awake because Jennifer had me up in the night. That's about 12, 2, 4 and 6. So she's going to be knackered when she gets home. So if she falls asleep, I'll nip up then. Um, I'm shattered. <sighs> I'm about to get ready to start work. Let's put my laptop on in a minute. I've read two chapters of this book. The, the Dark Rose by Cynthia Harrod Eagles. And she's still writing this dynasty now. The person I bought this from told me she died, but she hasn't. She's still alive, very much so, which is cool. Um, I'm very hot. I'm always very hot when I've been 
taking Jennifer's nursery. She didn't want to go today, probably because she's been up all day. And I better not let that dangle over the edge because the cat will have it. I'll just put it up there. So, plan for today is work. I've got to pick up a few things for mum and then get Jennifer, drop those things down to mum's. Uh, if Jennifer's up to it, we'll stay for a little bit and then we'll come home. I have got some boxes of stuff here. I hope you can see through the mess. Uh, this is to do the double page spread in the book journal for when Marianne met the Queen later on this afternoon. Just hit up here so I can have it by the desk. But I'm going to get ready for work and I will see you afterwards. Hey everybody, it's Wednesday evening and I admit I haven't done any vlogging. So I took Jen down to Grandad. Had a lovely stew for dinner and then brought her home and I was so tired. We, well she fell asleep in the car and then... We both sort of passed out on the sofa when we got home, so we're very tired. So I'm just going to show you the spread I did in my reading journal. So as you know, my reading journal, I did this double page spread for when Marilyn met the Queen. Pictures of Marilyn as the Queen. And all the pictures are related to London and the Prince and the Showgirl. Um, I've got some cinema ticket washi tape around the corner. It's very pretty. It's very, very nice. I like that. I'm going to film a colour and chat now, so I'll see you in a bit. My colour and chat, and here she is. I should take a picture of her and put her on Instagram tomorrow. Like it. So another one done. Another book used. Hey guys, I am so tired. I am just going to go to sleep. I did pack my two orders. So I had two tops going out. And I've sold another one tonight, so I'll be packing that one tomorrow and that can go out on Friday morning. So that's cool. So that's three. That's an, another sale. Um, I'm going to have to look at these cameras tomorrow at some point. In the, I think tomorrow evening I might have a look. I'm going to create a plan for next month. Um, I basically want to find an online calendar that's a monthly one for March 2022. And then I'm going to split my days in half on... Um, well, pretty much in half, from Monday to Friday. So there'll be mornings will be work um, and the times, and then afternoons will be whatever I do with Jennifer and reading. And then the evening, which is from around eight o'clock onwards, we'll have certain things. So on a Tuesday, I haven't done it and I need to do it, will be eBay because Tuesdays is the day I get my payout. So I pay it out every 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 week at the moment come april once the tax is ended it's going to go to monthly so april will be a lost month because i won't actually well it won't it probably will be a lost month because i won't have april's money after the sixth until may because that way it just pays out once a month and then all i gotta do is keep a, a little note of everything and i can just go in and update it on my quickbooks um in one one go every month if there's a lot of sales then it's going to be different because the post is going to have to go on when I do every every time I do it, just every every date um, I do it, rather than in one one big chunk. I would, you know, I could just do payout and postage on the same day every month and just do the one two things. Um, I am, but we'll, we'll see. Anyway, I'm really tired, so I want to go to bed and I want to read for a little bit. So I'm, I'm on chapter. Two. I've read two chapters from this so i want to read another one tonight before bed um maybe a bit more if i really get into it but uh i've still got to try and hit bombshell this month when i finish that and i've got to charge my kindle up wherever i've put it for a wartime secret it's around somewhere i just don't know what i've done with it again i must have put the damn thing down anyway I will see you in the morning. Um, it's Thursday tomorrow. Yay. We will be going to Newport on Saturday or up the tower, as Jennifer says, most likely. Just get out, get some air and a bit of a walk and look at books. <laughs> I'll see you in the morning. Good morning. It's Thursday 24th. February. I've dropped my parcels in. I'm just getting set up to work. I'm tired. Jennifer slept all night, which is good, but oh. <sighs> I read a few chapters last night of this. I'm on page 112, which is chapter six. It, it's okay, I'm enjoying it, yeah. There's a lot going on, but uh, yeah, I'll try and read some more of that later today. The plan for today is to get work done. Paul will be getting Jennifer, because I finish at the same time as she does. And then just 
see what the afternoon takes us. The living room needs to tidy up. There's rubbish everywhere, so I might do a bit of that. You know, I'm pottering and having lunch and stuff, cooking. Very tired. Um, yeah, so it's okay. All good. Anna Karen died, who played Olive in On the Buses. She was also in EastEnders, played Aunt Sal. I don't remember it now because I don't watch EastEnders anymore. But yeah, she was killed in a house fire at her house in Ilford. She was 85, but still, she probably had a few more years left in her, sadly. Very sad. I'm just, I don't know, I'm just staring at the books for some reason. I don't know what's going on in my head. Anyway, I'll see you after I finish your work. Hey everybody, it's actually Thursday night and I haven't vlogged again. Um, because I haven't done anything, really. Well, I've, no, I haven't actually done anything much. I fell asleep on the sofa with Jen earlier. Um, we did some colouring together and played for a bit. Did tea. She's in bed asleep. She went to bed quite easily today, which is great. And I'm upstairs hiding now. No, not literally hiding. Um, basically, I'm just come upstairs. I'm playing my games on my book, on my thing. I'm going to write my physical journal, my diary of everything that's happened today. What a day. And then I'm going to curl up and read as much of this as I can because I am enjoying it. I'm on chapter six. I'm going to see if I can get a good, good chunk of it done tonight so I can move on to another book. And yeah, I'm just going to carry on. <coughs> It's just been one of those days with everything that's happening in the world with the Russia-Ukraine situation, it's all a bit stressful. It's... My heart goes out to the people of Ukraine. I feel so sorry for them because they didn't ask for this. And a lot of the people in Russia are protesting in St. Petersburg. They're in the squares and they're actually saying they don't want a war. So I feel for them too, so... Be just typical when you sort of two years of a pandemic without actually getting the, the illness, the COVID, to end up dying in nuclear, you know, World War Three or something ridiculous. Oh my luck. Hopefully not. I want, you know, I just want to enjoy my my life and spend it with Jennifer. Watch her grow up into a beautiful girl. As long as she chooses to remain that, it's up to her. I ain't gonna stop her from being what she wants to be. It's scary, and I do feel for the people who are a direct line of fire out there. It's It's horrible. It's horrific. And I've been close to tears several times today about it because I can't stand this kind of thing. Why can't we live in a world? Why can't we just be a little bit nicer to each other? You know, it's not hard. Why do we have to fight? We don't have to fight. It's stupid. Anyway, I'm going to knock it on the head because... Um, I don't, know what else. I don't know what else to say. It's hard. I will be back tomorrow. It's it's Friday. Hooray! We are going up the tower on, on Saturday, as Jennifer says. Um, I did order another book. But this is a book that was written by another friend of mine. The, the author's name is L. Spellman. That's not her real name. That's her pen name. She doesn't even use her real name on Facebook, so... I know who she is, um, but she's got three books out and I haven't bought any of them, but I thought I'll order the new one, it's only been published today, so that is going to move to the top of my TBR pile, because I can't wait to read it, I'm looking forward to it, I'll show you it when it comes, and I might buy a few books in Newport on Saturday, because that's what I do, I've got to check see if I've got any cash in my bag actually, I don't know if I've put my tenor away this week, I have to start keeping a record of it. Anyway, I'll see you tomorrow. <sighs> Who knows what will have happened by tomorrow, but we'll find out and I'll see you then. Good morning. It's Friday. Thank God. Hooray! So things are still escalating in Ukraine, which is very sad. I've come out in an anxiety rash. I, only, I just get spots on my two places on my wrists. And I haven't had them for a while. I can think of it's the extra anxiety that this is causing. Um, not because it's affecting me personally, but because I hate the fact that it's affecting anybody. People who've got loved ones out there. People who live there, I think it's just terrible. Um, anyway. I'm going to get on to my day. Take Dad shopping. Paul's going to pick up Jen. And then I'm going to come home and relax. Paul's out tonight, so I've got a bit of printing I need to do. I've got a couple of Ava brands to print off. 
one of which I desperately want to colour in, so I think that's the gnomes one, so I really want to get it uh, printed off. Um, they actually have done some good books this month, not as many as they normally do. And I also got some covers to download and print off, if I can, so yes. Bit annoyed because Caffili Council are closing the best route out of the, the estate where I live. So at the moment the best route we've got. So at the bottom of my road you can turn left to go up to Elm Drive, various other streets, or down to go into Risca. Now to turn down we can't until April because the bottom of the road, Getley Avenue, is closed due to essential essential waterworks. They're replacing pipework which has needed to be done for yonks. And it's closed till April. That's how big a job it is. They can't, you know, they've done patches and they last two minutes and then the, the roads flood in again. It's, there's water spilling everywhere. So this time they're doing major works. They're literally replacing the old pipes. Now, Caffili County Borough Council have decided in their wisdom to close Lower Wyndham Terrace for two days. Now, <clears throat> that means nothing to you, but for me, I turn left, out my street, go up the hill, turn right onto Woodview, drive straight over Wyndham Terrace, and then turn right onto Lower Wyndham Terrace to get down to Mill Street to turn right into Risca onto Pontymister Commercial Street. When they close that, and for, to be fair, it's only two days for resurfacing work, as long as it only stays for two days, it's not going to be too bad. I'm going to have to make a four mile round journey to get out of the estate, or potentially a three mile round journey, depending on which way I go. So I could go up T Sign and down Ponty Mason Lane, which comes out practically in Newport. Or I can go up Holly Rose and go over the Darren and come around that way. Either way, it's adding a lot of extra miles and a lot of extra time to my journey. Now I don't have a lot of time in the morning to get to Jennifer to Nursery and to get back to the office to work, to start work. Um, now if I was working in the office, probably wouldn't be a problem because I would just leave at my normal time, go down Pony Mace Lane, go through High Cross, get the most way, get off at Stiga House and I'm at work. But because I've got to drop Jennifer in and on those days Paul will be taking Jennifer in. But because I'm not I'm working from home, I've only got half an hour to drop her off and get back. Now at the moment, it's doable, but we're going to have to leave about 10 minutes earlier, which she is not going to like. Like I said, at least it is only for two days. It could be a lot worse. So, um, anyway, I'm going to get ready for work and I will see you afterwards, hopefully. Finished work. Sorry, seatbelt. Just waiting for my dad to come out from the house so I can take them shopping. Give me a job. Might take a while. I'll give Mum a ring. Hey everybody, it's Friday night, Paul's out. I've just put Jennifer to bed. She's naughty because she said, I'm a bit tired so I'll go to bed when you tell me to. She didn't want to go to bed, started crying. She's lying there quiet now but uh, she'll do us off in a bit. I'm tired. So it's only like well, she's coming up to eight o'clock. It's late for her. She normally goes to bed about seven, but you know, it's a, it's a weekend. A little bit extra won't hurt, but she gets grumpy if she doesn't get enough sleep. So I am going to sit in bed and finish my book before I go to sleep, though I am tired, because I am that far from finishing. I got this back. That's where I am. That's not going to take long. I've read a good chunk this afternoon. Um, Jennifer was colouring. I didn't fancy colouring, although I was helping her, obviously. Um, yeah, everything's good. Just a bit tired. Now, it sounds like... Now, what I've heard is that Caffili Council might be postponing the work on Lower Wyndham because Gatley Avenue's closed. But we'll have to wait and see. Fingers crossed. Anyway, I'm going to read, go to sleep. Tomorrow we're going to Newport, up the tower. I'm hoping that if I go into Waterstone, because I want to get Mary Shelley's Frankenstein, um, that I will, what was I going to say? <sighs> I'll see Michelle's bucket in Waterstones. I might, I might not. If I do, I'll TikTok it, I'll put it on camera, and we'll have a look. But yeah, I'm, I'm going to pick up Frankenstein tomorrow. I do want to read the other two, and um, I'll make sure I read one of them in April. Either Catherine or I, or How Green Was My Valley, but uh, I think it might be Frankenstein next month. Um, 
uh, yeah, I'm enjoying this book. And after this one, I've got to finish the travesty that is bombshell. So, <laughs> I've got to crack on with it. Uh, I'll see you tomorrow when we go up the tower, as Jen like. Saturday, and we're getting ready to go up the tower, aren't we, Jen? We're going up the tower. We're going up the tower to get toys. I don't know which toy is it. I don't know, we'll have a look for I one. I want a figure one. You want a figure? Alright. And books, and then see Nanny Sally? And Shadow. Oh, my battery's running out, better change it before we go. Anyway. What? You're falling all over the place, aren't you? Anyway, we are going up the tower. See you there. Oh, we've been up the tower. Taco Bell. Paul's just gone insane so we should get a drink. There's two people around, isn't there? Hey? Pigeon? Uh. Hang on. There we are. Here we are. You say hello? <laughs> <laughs> you like coming up the tower, don't you? Uh -huh. Yeah. So we're just waiting for Paul to get a drink and then we're going to go get some cash out and have a wander around the shops. See what toys we can find. Yeah? And get some food. You want some food? Because I'm really hungry. Are you very... Oh, you had no breakfast, did you? You had ice cream and you didn't eat it all. No, we'll have some lunch soon, don't worry. Paul's having a cheeky Nando's. So am I. Jennifer's not eating it. She says she doesn't like it, which is amazing because she used to love it. But I'm enjoying mine. I should probably eat it now. And uh, this happened. Ten books. I've got three in the works. On the three for five pound. That one came from a charity shop. I've got a copy of Frankenstein for next month's classic. And I got six in a charity shop for one pound twenty-five. <laughs> Big book haul this month. I'm looking forward to doing it. I'll read out all the synopsises as well. So we'll see. Um, yeah, a lot of books. The cat's having a sniff. Look, and there's my uh, other copy of When Marilyn Met the Queen. I'm gonna put them on my shelf and uh, get the titles so I can get the covers for the journal. Okay guys, this is my haul this month, except for they're not all there. Three of them are, four of them are up there actually, and two of them have had to go down on that shelf because this shelf is quite full. Um, next month I might try and get rid of this stack because other than the Marilyn film co-stars from A to Z, the, I mean they're all quite big. Um, I need to move that from this shelf to a TBR shelf because this shelf is where I put the new books and there's a few of them that aren't like Marilyn Her Life in Pictures that isn't, Cary Grant isn't and the bo other bottom Marilyn one isn't but I haven't read them I've read the Marilyn one, the um, Life in Pictures so I just need to put it back on its, its shelf where it lives the rest of them will be going away obviously when Marilyn met the king, Queen I've got two of those and met the Queen that will be going away anyway, so I just need to get rid of Letters from Hollywood, Cary Grant and the other Marilyn Robert. The only problem with that Marilyn Robert is it's not on um, Goodreads. I'll have to put it on myself. I've done that before though. And then there is that. They're all books I got this month. I plan on reading that Marilyn play because it's a nice short one to get rid of. And some of these will be moved over to my um bedside table but not too many anyway so i just thought i'd show you <laughs> wait big stack of books i bought again because i'm a naughty girl you know 20 to 10. Uh, what did i do i finished coming a picture i wanted to do is playing my games and i'm going to write my diary and watch tiktok and then I'll read a little bit of that book try and get as much of it done as i can it's hard reading because it's i'm not going to say it's all lies because it's not there are a lot of truths in there my main problem is with this book, and this is Bombshell, I do say, like I said, I've started having it, is she has used a lot of truth. A lot of things that we know for a fact happened. And when they do that, it makes everything else believable. But for me, my big red flag is, there's no sources at the back. So you might say, so-and-so said this when interviewed by this person, but he doesn't tell us what happened to that interview, what paper it was for, or magazine, whether it was on TV. So there's no source saying so and so said this to this person in this magazine on this date. 
So I can't go and read it. So anything that could be done like that could be taken out of context unless you know where to find the original quote. That's a flag. That's a red, big red flag. Any decent author who is trying to convince you of something will put sources in the back so you can go and check what he's done, where he's got his quotes from. Now, okay, he's saying he copied out Marilyn's diary. There's not going to be a source for that other than Marilyn's diary. We have to take his word for that because nobody, nobody has ever seen it. Not anybody ever has seen that diary that allegedly exists. Not Joe DiMaggio, not Inez Nelson, Whitey Snyder, Ralph Greenson, Ralph Roberts, Engelberg, her doctor, Pat Newcomb, who wouldn't say anyway because she's very, very ret reticent about speaking about her own. But not one person has seen this diary apart from allegedly two people who never even flipping knew her. So I do have problems with it because we've only got his word for it and I copied this from Marilyn's diary is just like saying I made this up I could write a diary say I copied this from my grandfather's diary it belonged to his grandfather his grandfather was Jack the Ripper can't prove otherwise and if I could prove that my great 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 grandfather was in London at the time or whatever Who's to say he wasn't? It's not admissible evidence. You would not get a conviction based on this book, on the information in it, because it's a load of rubbish. Like I said, there are some true things in it, which makes it <sighs> annoying because if it was a book of straight up lies, like Ted Jordan and Robert Slate says, you could turn around and say straight up lies. But because he's woven a lot of truth into it, makes it harder that's clever that's devious um i will be tiktok in this in several installments uh, probably monday when i do my big filming night because monday's my big filming night because it's the end of the month so it'll be um completed pages a coloring books coloring book haul i will do one um it will be my book haul my wrap up of my reading and then i will do some tiktoks as well so it's going to be a busy night Monday. There's going to be a lot of filming going on. I like to get it done. Well, it'll be Monday or Tuesday because I like to get it done over the course of a couple of days to the start of the week. So I might just do my colouring ones Monday and do the rest of it Tuesday or the other way around. It really depends on how I'm feeling on Monday night, whether I want to put makeup on because I do like to look decent sometimes, occasionally, maybe. But I'm going to head off to bed now so I can... Um, Okay, so read for a little bit before I go to sleep. I'll see you tomorrow. At least it's Sunday. Morning, it's Sunday. Um, Jennifer got up at apparently at half seven and Paul got up with her. I vaguely heard something, but I was still sleepy. And they let me sleep. So it was very nice. I didn't get up for another hour or so, which was really nice. Because obviously I'm up earliest in the week. I get up at six o'clock every day in the morning. It's nice to have a bit of lying on a Sunday. And I was up with her at half seven yesterday. In fact, we both were yesterday. Um, that's very nice. He does do that if he, he can. He'll let me lie in on a Sunday if I can. You know, if, if Jen's not kicking off. Um, so he's sorting out stuff to take the tip on Friday because we are going to get rid of a load of stuff. Because the sun is coming through the window. It's a beautiful day. I've got two items to pack a bit to take up the shed. Um, I'll check something. Um, because I got a message on eBay about something, so I need to check it before I, I send back. I want to try and tidy up in this room. I've got a load of washing to sort. There's a load drying and a load to sort. Um, so I'm going to put that away after we've done the shopping and had lunch. And then I'm going to say I'm going to tidy up the bedroom because it's a mess. I need to get it sorted so that I can get into my boxes and, and do stuff. I've got a bag full of cameras to sort through. I'm going to start doing that this week. I'll get up. I'll get a new big bin liner and then I'll just chuck out anything that doesn't work. I'm not even going to play with it anymore. If it doesn't work, like I've got a Vivitar that's the shutter's not firing. It could probably be fixed. I'm not going to worry about it. It's going in the bin. I am not going to worry about it because I'm just not interested. I just want to get this room sorted and that means getting rid of that bag of cameras and lenses. The lenses are a little bit different. I keep them to try them on, on, on different cameras when I get them because I don't know what they're for. Um, 
I, what I need to do is start labelling them because some of them I know I've used and I don't know what they're for now. I've got a load of recycling up here so I'm going to sort all that out. Um, yeah, I'm trying to get it a bit tidier so that it's going to be easier for me to film tomorrow when I do my book film, my TikTok and my current stuff. Anyway, I am going to crack on. The other thing I want to say is I, I keep a diary every year and I have these big a4 desk diaries like this and i have a load of them there's one missing i don't know where it is it's around somewhere it's not been thrown out it's probably in the other room and usually i write for a few days and then i stop and then i'll write every now and again but so far this year i have written something on each page every day if i don't write that day i've written it the next day so a little bit of what's been going on it's not never going to be a full page because i don't do much some of them are fuller than others um and I'm glad really because it used to be when I wrote pages and pages it was because I was depressed and I didn't write when I was happy but now I'm trying to write regardless of how I'm feeling um, and so far yeah I've gone through nearly two months of writing a bit every day for every day so I'm going to keep up and see if we can do it every day so yeah I'm enjoying that and obviously I'm my film journal's doing fine my film journal my book journal is here I'm filling that out I do have one to to put in and I've, I've got to cut up the pictures for it they're downstairs that's for the dark rose so I need to tidy up so I can get all my uh, red books in a pile I need to tidy up I'm sorry I need to um oh what's it called charge my iPad my tablet it's not an iPad so that I can show the the uh, ebooks that I've read um I'm still trying to finish uh, the bombshell book wherever it is I think it's in the drawer I have read a bit more. I'm nearly at the photo section, but I'm not anywhere near the end yet, so it'll be when I've done it. As you can see, there are a few tabs. So the, the blue tabs are definitely didn't happen or is very, very, very unlikely. The yellow tabs are did happen. Um, and the red tabs are I need to check something on those. So uh, it's usually dates. So yeah. So I'm going to get dressed, we're going to go shopping, nip to my mum's and see how she is, and then come back, put the shopping away, have some lunch, and then I'm going to do the washing and start the tidying up up here. It's good. Let's do it. First day out in the garden. It's quite nice, quite warm today. Playing catch with the sticky ball. Keep your eye on the ball, Jack. Come on. Come on. Paul and Jennifer have gone in now because Jennifer wants to watch TV, but it's too nice. I'm going to sit out here. He's going to bring me out a drink because he drank all my Coke. And I've got um, my colour in here. I'm doing I've got my book so I'm just gonna sit outside and enjoy a bit of sunshine I've got stuff to do in the house so I'm not gonna be out long a little bit I'll go in and do what I need to do which is the um sort of washing out and have a start tidying up but uh I don't I don't come out in the fresh air that much and I thought, but it's been nice outside for a bit it's warm it's lovely for February the 27th in fact I think it was this time last year I was sitting out in a t-shirt in the garden as well, I've got because it came up on my news feed today, a uh, picture of Jennifer sitting in the garden. So, yeah, she'll probably want to come back out any bit. She's a funny kid. But yeah, thought I'd come out here and read and, and colour for a bit, and then I'll go back in. Get on. I'm hot and sweaty. I've been tidying up. I still don't look like I've tidied anything because I'm sorting stuff out and moving stuff around. For instance, I've got a stack of books by my desk, which are all whips. Um, so I'm gonna start working on them fairly soon um, because I wanna get rid of the whips. There's probably about 30 books down there. <laughs> um, I've moved all my supplies, all my supplies, I'll have to excuse the mess, are now either in or on this chest here. And this is stuff I, tend to use the most. I've got my Pro Markers, I've got my Ohuhu Markers, um, all my gel pens, I've got my Polychromos, my Prismacolors, my Black Widows, my spare Black Widows, my spare Prismas. That's a colour you on travel mug I got for Christmas a few years ago so I haven't done it. 
Um, those are the shuttle art markers. And then on here I've got books. So these are the books, some of the books I'm hoping to get through next month. Not all of them, but they're just there so I don't have to go searching. I do need to pull one off the top for a Jack the Ripper. Also need to put a file up on the top of um, April Prime colouring books. So I'll be doing that in a minute. That'll get that out of the way. I still have got a load of colouring books to put away. There may even be more whips over there. I don't know. The lamp is all over the place. I've got a few books to take to my mum's. This is the state of my bed at the moment. Hangers, a mirror, some books, a photograph of Dean Stockwell, some colouring books, notebooks. But you should have seen it 10 minutes ago. It was covered. I've still got stuff over here to sort out. Oh, it's too hard. But I'm going to go downstairs and have a cup of tea with Paul. I've been up here for ages trying to do this. It is getting there. I'm going to be taking down two bags of rubbish. I've got my rubbish bin. I found it. It's here somewhere. I just need to put the liner in it. And there's still bits of rubbish all over the floor I'll be picking up every now and again. I've got a bag of cameras. I've got a bag for recycling, which is fine. I'm quite happy to keep that in here. Get in a like, re recycling box of... I've got one of Jennifer's socks in here. Boxes that medication comes in. I always put them in. I am very, very tired. But I'll be having a shower tonight because I'm all hot and sweaty, like I said. I've got notebooks for you. I've got a camera over there that's got film in it. I've got so many cameras with film in, I'm going to try and finish them all off so I can put them away. Some of them is because I'm testing them. That camera had a roll of film in it when I got it, so that's why I'm just going to shoot it off on a bright day. Would have done it today if I knew where it was, but now I know where it is. It's fine. And then, yeah, I have got, I want to show you, these are colouring books, not including Jade Summer, not including Colour in Heaven that I haven't got. So this shelf here, that's all books I haven't coloured in. And those are the books I haven't coloured in. A lot of those are Christmas ones. There's all my scrapbook stuff, okay? There's books I've read, not all of them. Uh, there's some photography books I haven't read yet. There's my recycling. There's my bag of cameras. It's got a single on it as well. There's some change. As you can see, this is where it gets a bit messy. There's some notebooks, that's the camera with a film in it. That's my washing, which has got to go downstairs. Again, all these here have not been coloured in. These all have. And then all these up here, they're all Jade Summers I haven't coloured in, so I've got loads to colour in. I'm going to show you my way. Well, here is my stack of whips. And I'm not happy with that, so I want to get rid of them. Just moved my stack of books around. I've got the Otto Penzler Giant Ripper book there, which is just one I'm going to read a little bit. If it takes me all year, it takes me all year. I'm, it's not one I'm going to try and read from cover to cover. I'm just going to read a bit every now and again and it'll take as long as it takes much like I'm doing with the Agatha Christie one which is there as well um, the two books on top which is Bombshell and Mallory Towers ones I'm going to be finishing next then I got Stephen King if it bleeds and then there's just a stack of random books I've picked there's one book on the hall shelf that I want to put over there which I've bought which I really want to read this month well in March as soon as I, or as soon as I can so that one will be going over there um, and then when they finish they will be going down there in that corner there's a couple of photography books there that i might read and get get them done and the thing with photography books is they're really, they're, some of them are really short and easy to read so one's about cornwall and one's about across america so they're really going to be easy to read and they're going to up my tbr very very quickly up my red books rather very very quickly i do have some stuff to put on it I do have to put in Hogfather. I've put those over there, I think. Um, yeah, Hogfather uh, into my notebook. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go downstairs now and spend some time with Jennifer and Paul. And then when I come up to bed after I've had my shower, I'm going to try and put some more of the Ava Brown books away. Because uh, obviously, we're getting very close to the end of the month. I might not film tomorrow, I might do it Tuesday. Because I might want to just try and colour as much and read as much as I can right up until the end of the day. And then, of course, I can film on Tuesday night, which is fine. So, yeah, I think I'll do it film on Tuesday. I'll give myself tomorrow to finish what I can. Because, like I said, I've got a ton of whips down there. Some of them are just patterns that will be easy to do. And some of them are a bit, 
bit harder some of the pencil ones pencils are in there but i'm just going to finish them off using whatever pencils i've got and it'll be me a case of me coming over and saying right i'm going to use the polys or the prismas or the black widows on this probably black widow i love the black widows so i'm going to go downstairs so i've been up here ages and i kind of want to see people i'm also really tired and um, we gotta have tea soon because jennifer needs to have a bath so yeah, all I've got on the bed now are uh, three books that I don't need. They're going to go to go in an envelope to go to the charity shop. Sophie Kinsella, 20s girl. My paperback of Dracula, which I've got a new copy of now. And Eeny Meeny by MJ Ulrich. They can, I mean, I will get a bag up here at some point to put them in. Um, I've got three books to go to my mum's because she'll read those. And then I just need to sort out over here. As you can see, there's loads of stuff down here. Where there be dressing gowns, there's some Marilyn books I need to put away. There's a pillow, there's a folder there which I need to make sure is okay. There's some tins that, if I'm not going to use them, they can go in the recycling because I don't see the point in keeping empty pencil tins. So now I am going downstairs. I'll see you in a bit. It's a lot better, it's a lot tidier, I'm a lot happier. Anyway, Sunday evening, everybody's in bed. I'm I'm in bed. I've, I've had a shower. I feel tired. And I, I'm going to go to sleep. Yeah, I'm tired now. So that's another week in the life. We'll do it all again tomorrow. I hope you've enjoyed this weekly vlog. Leave me some comments down below and I'll answer them as soon as I can. I love talking to you. Um, I hope you're having a great time and I'll see you soon. Bye.